Hi, my name is Evan Jaffe, and I am the first affirmative for the debate on the copyright and the DMCA. So my claim is that we need to extend the Copyright Act because it helps protect artists and producers. My first claim is that it protects existing business models. According to Wordstream.com, a student faced a penalty of $65,000 for downloading a set of free songs off the internet. Penalties like these deter other offenders by attempting to pirate content and they allow people to make money. On top, the DMCA also, in another case where the DMCA protected the existing business models, YouTube gave copyright strikes to people because they use music that belongs to other artists. This claim is in place, even though people say that it's problematic, this claim is in place because it allows the sole creators of a, of a work to remain, this, to, uh, to, to make sure that they receive the proper compensation for their work and allows to, the copy, and the copyright strikes allow them to make sure that they make money. My second claim is that it protects integrity of property. In the year 1989, three Hollandale, Florida daycare centers were forced to take off murals from their walls of beloved Disney characters. These murals did not accurately represent the company and the Walt Disney Company because they were poorly drawn and constructed. This is a, they were, um, the DMCA would come into effect in this because these, because they were, because they were not, because not only were they not poorly constructed and they weren't able to accurately represent the Walt Disney Company because the Walt Disney Company is known for their quality material and imaginative storytelling. These murals were not that. On top of that, the Walt Disney Company was not, also not able to profit properly off of these murals and gain compensation where compensation was due. Another, another, point, another piece of evidence of concurrent integrity of property was that when Napster was shut down due to copyright complaints. <coughs> Most of the music on Napster was poorly recorded versions of the original music. This allowed, um, when when people were listening, when downloading these poor renditions of the actual music, they weren't allowed. The artists who were making them weren't allowed to demonstrate the integrity of their property. Like the Walt Disney Company, most of the artists on Nap that were being showcased on Napster were top forty artists, such as Justin Timberlake and NSYNC. Um, these pe people, instead of listening, pay, instead of Normal people paying for the mu for high quality renditions of their music. They were being, they were paying for shoddy, choppy, um, cost, and often cut up renditions of popular songs. The DMCA protects integrity of property because it makes sure that the only works and versions of a certain rendition of work are quality and of quality are the are of highest the highest quality. My third claim is that it upholds the Constitution. The term life, liberty, and property states that it is the right of an individual organization to protect its property. Organizations that have copyrighted material are allowed by this Constitution to protect them how they please. And the DMCA represents the Constitution because it should be extended because it protects the constitutional ideal that men have the right to protect their property. In conclusion, we need to extend the Copyright Act because it helps existing business models and it protects integrity of property and upholds the Constitution. Thank you.